discussion to some international monetary fund because the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, has revealed that Ghana's negotiation with the International Monetary Fund, IMF, which began on Monday, September 26th, will last for 10 days. The minister says government will ensure a comprehensive package is negotiated with the aim of restoring a sustainable microeconomic stability and improving social protection. The minister said this in a press conference today. The IMF negotiations. The formal negotiations for a fund-supported program began on Monday, September 26, 2022, and discussions are advancing smoothly. The IMF mission will cover a period of 10 days, and in line of His Excellency the President's dialogue with the IMF Managing Director, Kristalina Georgieva, negotiations will be fast-tracked to ensure the key aspects of the program are reflected in the 2023 annual budget statement in November 2022. Government is committed to ensuring that a comprehensive package is negotiated with the aim of restoring and sustaining macroeconomic stability, ensuring durable and inclusive growth, and promoting social protection. As stated in our press release dated 26 September 2022, on the commencement of the IMF negotiations, having a sustainable debt path is a prerequisite for the IMF program. Therefore, the IMF World Bank and the Ghana team are currently undertaking a debt sustainability analysis to inform the program negotiations. In addition, the IMF and government team are working to update the medium-term macrofiscal framework to inform IMF program design. Also, the government team and the IMF team are discussing policy measures and structural reforms proposed in our economic program aimed at addressing the economic challenges facing the country towards restoring and sustaining macroeconomic stability, fiscal and debt sustainability, as well as promoting durable and inclusive growth and social protection. Ladies and gentlemen, we simply have not reached any agreement with the fund on the parameters of any debt operation as we are in the process of completing the continue to actively engage all stakeholders in a clear and transparent manner as we seek to fast track the IMF negotiation process. Ghana needs a viable domestic financial system to support its development program, especially in these three years of limited access to international capital markets. Therefore, everything must and will be done to protect our financial sector. And there must be room for a win-win conversation through extensive stakeholder engagement with both our domestic and external investors. Ghana has always had a collaborative approach with its partners, and we shall, I'm confident, come out of an historic arrangement. This is a government that protected the savings of 4.6 million Ghanaian depositors with the reform of the banking and financial sector. Even in our early days, we owe it to the economy and Ghanaians to keep protecting it. The sanctity and the well-functioning of the financial system is sacrosanct, and we need the support and trust of all Ghanaians to deliver this.